Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancion. I thought I'd come and wish you a good day to see a little bit what would be the, the an oracle for the summer, what we can expect for this. We have to prepare for happiness, joy, freedom, and abundance. Always to stay focused on that. And I'm going to pull to see each 12 constellation. I'm going to pull, go through all the constellations. I don't really have the space, but I will do as if I did. Wow. Uh, the first constellation is the potential. It is the it is the heiress, and what is potential for us is the mind. It is really about learning to let go of the labyrinth of the mind, letting go of all those dualistic principles. I'm going to return to that for this uh, this this devil against God and light against dark. It was an Arconian program to keep trap and soul and trap the naivety of this of the humanity on this planet allowed all those beings to create that in order to to fuel from the conflict and the negativity so we have to let go of the labyrinth of the mind, let go of morality, of the, the higher sense of morality, like uh, we know what's right and, uh, and, and we, we're going to destroy everybody that does not feel like us, like the Inquisition. Eventually, the potential is going to become lightness, happiness, playfulness. So it is all very much in the works. What we possess is guilt, is the sense of, for now, we, we've been face to face with all of our karmic uh, energies and so we, we have to forgive ourselves totally and, and ask for a transition there was a channel that was talking about that a channel um, that, that happens quickly completely and perfectly a transition and let go of all the guilt and focus on what you post when we possess guilt and we can possess flowering it is the cause and the effect the for whether we through forgiveness we can allow ourselves to understand that everything we've been through it was was just a um, a process that we needed to go through, what we need to well, still challenges eh, for what we think for for the heiress is, is I am, the, the Taurus is I have, the Gemini is I think, and I think it's all the mental process, the communication, the journey, and here we still feel isolated and we need to to dissolve the wall of us isolation and from which points we're going to find new possibility. Here it's called traveling. So there's going to be a lot of traveling. We're going to be able, as we let go of the guilt, we let go of, of the judgment to, to have to look at it through opposing perspective. We, we um, And we let go of the of this guilt, this culpability and the labyrinth of the mind. We, we, we're allowing ourselves to feel sometimes the the, the pain of isolation sometimes we wonder there is days where everything is great and there's days we'll say what what did we do wrong to be sent into this life I'm, I'm not talking about even the the life the political life or whatever it's just our own personal life has been difficult it's been difficult but we're going to be able to to communicate and think about traveling then in in cancer, as I feel, it is the, the inner world, the, the home environment, and here there's everything has been shaken up. There is there is a new energies that are going to be coming up. Huh? Uh, for now, there is this this inner fight. Is, we have to let go of the fight. Drop the shield. Make peace within yourself. Do not. Uh, at which points we move into the one, the consciousness, the the experience, the existence, the the magician, the magic. Sometimes the mind doesn't follow all what the soul wants, but but you you still you still want to give your soul a, a chance, and and then in, well, there's a lot. The outcome is so wonderful that I didn't look at the old cards, but there, there is still challenges in the heart. The heart is the the Leoism. And it's uh, it's about passion, family, uh, creativity, and here yeah, it's exhaustion. And we'll get exhausted as long as we try to fulfill people's expectations. We're not here to fulfill people's expectations. We need to fulfill our own, even our own expectation. We need to fulfill our own flow and to take care of our own energy and stop wasting time and energy in, in futile things that takes more energy than than give us energy. And so. The key to that is, is slowing down. For everything, as we slow down, we become more aware and, and we become more co in control of what we need to control. Then, um, then in Libra, in, in, not in Libra, in uh, Virgo, Virgo is, um, is uh, analyzed, it's a very analytical sign. It is about how we nourish ourselves materially and spiritually. And here we have abundance. So that is all good. Then in, in Libra is, uh, is all the world of relationship. It is, uh, it is uh, I balance. 
And here we have participation. It's the card of completion. It's wonderful. All the social, there is a lot of wonderful energies that come around the social, sociability potential uh, coming this, uh, this summer. Then, then in, um, in Scorpio is what comes from the depths of the subconscious, the, the deep past, what comes from the depths. And uh, it is a desire. The Scorpio is the desire. And here we have the silence. Silence here is, is the here it's 17 is the star, is the magic, is the miracle. It is everything can be revealed within silence. So it is good to connect to silence as much as possible. Then in Sagittarius is, is the aim. We aim. Sagittarius is I aim. It is our higher laws, philosophies, concerns. And here we have the great teacher, the great void, the great nothingness, the source. Um, so everything can be transformed within that. What comes to us from the great mother, Capricornus, Amalte, the, the goat Amalte, that was, which is I used, it's the most practical sign. And here we have suppression. It means we get rid, we got to get rid of all those things that are still, uh, those burdens, those cords that are still, uh, that, that are still, um, The universe is assisting us in showing that, so we can free ourselves from that. And here, by how by turning within, making peace, slowing down, so the connecting to silence, letting go of the of many thoughts, knowing that our soul will keep what's important in uh, in, in frequency on some uh, on some level. Then in in in, in Aquarius, which is uh, I know, it is the. the collective uh, ascension this the, the passion of leo is is is, is been mirror in sagittarius on a collective level and we're moving into this age of aquarius and it's also about friends about dreams hope wishes and here we have the sun so there is nothing better than that uh, it's it's called innocence and so this this card is actually representing of the sun and pisces is the karma is i believe it's it's the inevitable and here we're going to have patience for not everything will unfold as we want and the key and the outcome will be the dream the dream romance of success fulfillment continue to cultivate your dream for that will be the outcome in we're going to enter into this new year this fall into a, a very different energy Hopefully, <laughs> so I uh, just wanted to uh, say that there was there was a spirit in channel that was talking about when, when you receive an idea, rather than say I will do, you said this I do. Even if you don't initiate the action, at least you acknowledge that this you do, you, you want that, you choose that. And she was also talking about doing the shift completely, rapidly and perfectly. For very soon, it's going to be the end of the karma. The karma is, can be transcended just by forgiveness. But it's, it's, it's the end of the archons. The archons were the ones that are like mysterious beings that come from other universes that found this planet. And the, 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 they saw that the humanity was very naive. And so they, they, they created this polarized world. And, and so they, they created the Draco reptilians and supervised by the insectoid and, and, and to, to manipulate all the program. For God does not judge, God does not, God loves, God supports. And, and so the judgment does, they may, they may come from the archons that says, well, I am God and I, it's like you have to rest, I am here to punish you or whatever. But it never, that can never come from God himself. Um, so, but that's going to the end of the archons. The archons right now are impulsing negative energy in the trauma of the reptilian brain to continue this polarization. But as people disconnect from that, they, 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 we become free as we, we recognize the manipulation for the working with associates such as demons and lower astral entities because they share an agenda of nourishing themselves from fear, from, from suffering, from hatred. From, it's, like, it's like nourishing themselves from that. And so... Um, And so, so because they created this this idea of good and evil, dark and dark and light, the fight between the two, and God is part of that as well. He enjoys that. He learns from that. He grows from that. But the shift has already happened for the Earth at the 11, 11, 2011. With the shift at the turning point, we already um, and was really anchored on the the 21, 12, 12 2012. Huh? For right now, the, the, all those, uh, the, 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 those, uh, those negative energies are trying to try, create confusion and conflict and division in the awakening community, trying to make them fight about uh, very minor details. It's like the, the religious war, huh? same thing. It's like God is love. We, we all worship God, but we need to kill each other because we think God has, has to have this name or that name or whatever. So, so it is. It is really the do not fell prey to the to, to the, the this dualistic um, 
program. Uh, for, for some people, are not, they don't need to be very much encouraged to, to fall into darkness, into manipulation, personal power. There's people that, a lot of people, everybody's got to do to handle a demon, but there are some people that at some point the demon comes out and it's like they let it go and they create such a, every so often, they, they create so much hell and so much suffering just because they are allowing, they're cultivating this connection to their demons. I'm not even talking about politics and you know, common people. So just be aware that you may have to deal with negative energies. But once you, you pacify it, then, then at least you, you handle your own part of the process. You cannot deal with other people's, uh, you can protect yourself from other people's uh, demonic uh, interaction or relationship, let's say. But um, for eventually all of that is going to come to an end because the great central sun, the the light of God is, even, is, is moving through the dimension and cascading down and down and down. Eventually, it's going to pass the veil of the earth, the third dimensional veil, force of force and third dimensional veil, and everything will be revealed all at once, like the light body activation or the, the solar flash, what we call the solar flash. And all of those dark beings will be eliminated instantaneously, and or maybe not all of them, some of them may resist or whatever, but the, and they will be replaced by angels and guides and higher spiritual beings. I was even inf informed uh, about 20 years ago that the presence of the 144,000 Trinity teacher sons, which was very surprised, I didn't really understand why they were here, because those beings are paradise beings, they never incarnate on the planet, they just appear. There was 144,000 of them that appear, but only usually it's at the time of spiritualization, which is like tens of thousands of years from now, the earth will be spiritualized, maybe a bit sooner, but, but we're very, very far, we're not even conscious of uh, the ascension process, yes, as of humanity. So, so the tree, but, but our planet is in such an anachronic timeline that it, you never know. They may be called to come and assist, and they will be um, welcome. At least <laughs> they're very welcome if they if they are commanded to do so. I'm gonna pull a few cards. For well, we have to stay light right now, and eh? not to let. Because it's like uh, the, the, the matrix is becoming a little bit, uh, there's all kinds of insanity that is being uh, projected in there. For, for the highest wisdom is the solid foundation. What we need to understand is the isle, treasure island. What we need to do is an exchange of gift. Be gracious. Life is an exchange. To let go, to, to eliminate all of the, the song of life, you know, to see life as a as a whole. Um, and the outcome will be the tribe. There's going to be a great deal of connection to soul family and soul groups. So, um, I'll put one card with the Akash. Well, I'm not going to, I don't really like to comment right now too much. Uh, for, for It's like putting an end to all the wars and battles. It's important to cultivate this agenda of peace. There, there is a lot of activation in America about this Wayne versus Roe uh, for, for abortion. I'm, I'm not for abortion, but I'm not... Uh, those who are, who are going crazy to, to defend abortion and those who are going crazy to, 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 to make it illegal are, are both um, part of the, the dualistic program. But, but in, in essence, uh, I'm just sharing my belief, uh, abortion is not something that we want, yet it has to be the, the, the choice of the person. Huh? And it's not a constitutional right. It is not like changing sex after six years. When you're six years old, it's not a constitutional right. Well, you have to, we have to understand that like the, the, this work agenda is about uh, decreasing the population. They try with the, 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 their, their virus, their, 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 their uh, vaccine. They tried with. Uh, uh, now they try. They trying to make uh, make people uh, transgender so they cannot reproduce, and and they want people to have abortion, like going to the dentist, so they don't reproduce. However, in in the in the Western world, we need to have a population that increase, and because the population is getting older, mostly like Japan, and certain places like that are maybe even worse, but. Um, for this, the right to choose, but but if they make it illegal, it's it's like they're gonna promote all kinds of clandestine uh, process, like with guns, with drugs, alcohol, prostitution. As soon as you make it illegal, as long as long as there is still a need, it's gonna continue to happen. Then um, one day we won't need all that, but uh, for now, it's like uh, it's better to be supervised and. and and uh, to, to be supervised by professionals to, to keep things in balance. Um, 
and in France they're trying to create a distraction from all the, the all of their their responsibility to the creating new problems new crises just to try to avoid to respond to the old things that they've already created president macron wanted to make it a constitutional right to have abortion maybe after that they wanted to make a constitutional right to 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 forbid to, to be men or women is no longer men or women. They don't want that in their work movement. They want they want some asexual beings impo- incapable of managing their sexuality, become so weak that they they're completely impossible to reproduce. They don't have a sense of self. It's completely. Uh, we have to become master and controller of our sexuality and reproduction process, uh, master of our biology. Because it's, it's, it doesn't. Uh, it's. Um, for within, within the, the, the constitution, there is the right to live, the right to life, the right to uh, to, to, um, to to freedom, and the right to, to the pursuit of happiness. And, and for that, everybody goes whichever way they want. That's, that's what freedom is about. But to impose something uh, as, as constitutional right, I think it was it was a good call. Although I'm not against, um, I think it was. Um, it might create a revolution in America. It's like between the Republican and Democrat. For for most people, don't care about politics. They care about their own life. Thank God. But uh, but we still have to deal with that. Well, I'm going to finish with a song. Uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing this one. The other side. And I thank you very much for everything. Um, I wanted to to come and say hello. I'm going to finish with a song to finish in music. It's uh, it's a song of group band in Kansas goes like this I close my eyes only for a moment and the moment's gone all my dreams pass before my eyes a curiosity dust in the wind all they are is dust in the wind same old song just a drop of water in an endless sea oh we do crumble to the ground or we refuse to see dust in the wind all we are is dust in the wind now don't hang on Nothing lasts forever but the earth and sky It sleeps away And all your money won't another minute by Dust in the wind All we are is dust in the wind Dust in the wind Everything is dust in the wind Dust in the wind. All, all your money won another minute by for like, uh, for for money is the god of this civilization, but it, it does not protect us from death. And at the end, we we don't take that with us. So we want to continue to cultivate value, continue to cultivate um, our sense of self. Y- yet to ask for abundance for for money is only useful while we're here. And there's a lot of things, new inventions that are coming into the the forefront of consciousness. But they're very expensive. They're just for like you have to be super rich to enjoy those new technologies that are starting to come out. But they will come into the mainstream. Every new technology has to pass through that process, as far as I can see. It was the same thing for electricity. Only the rich people had electricity, and then the cars. Only r- super rich people had cars and telephone. Those big telephone. The only, the television was on. At the beginning, it's only for like an elite, and then eventually, all things. Um, Although most of our technology we're going to completely abandon to, to move on to something much better. I do believe that. And I'm working on some ideas too, but I don't have the, the resources, the, the inner resources, but, but to develop prototype and to send to sell technologies. You can't really do it from your... From, um, for for you, but you can from your from your garage. But I don't even have a garage right now, so it's like uh, it will wait a little bit. But we'll see. The vision continue to grow and cultivate your own vision for a re- to stay in a receptive mode. And the card of the day is the Great Priestess, the, the Archangel Eniel, psychic perspicacity, 
reflection and meditation that informs you, that gives you information of great value. Be in peace. So just be at peace and, and also very important to stop, uh, stop giving in to the temptation to, to give up your, your, your own sense of well-being to please somebody else. It's really the essence of what is going to be going on in this, uh, in this time to, to refocalize our priority within understanding that we are here to help. Huh? We are here to assist nevertheless. Huh? Thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Adonai.